We had the opportunity this morning in the conference to present combined universities in Cornwall, um, going back right to the earliest days and its formation and how that was influenced by the geography and the communities around in Cornwall. And that's been an interesting place to go right back to the beginning of CUC, uh, understanding the shaping of Cornwall as a region uh, through the forces of nature uh, and the community um, spe special nature of, of Cornwall. And it's been quite a journey over the last 10 years for combined universities in Cornwall, very much driven through the economic um, drivers that are already set out by the Cornwall Council, who have been our partner in developing the higher education in Cornwall, uh, and working very strongly with the uh, existing specialisms and the uh, attractive uh, research potential of the institutions that served Cornwall. So the combined universities in Cornwall has grown out of that economic need shaped by the geography, shaped by the culture, and also shaped to an extent by the strengths that already existed in the institutions in Cornwall. We've made that journey um, over the last 10 years and have been very um, successful in investing European money in developing those facilities and really developing a comprehensive higher education that is special for Cornwall. But I think what's been interesting in the conference is that listening to other partners and one of the driving forces of the whole Unicred's project is that while there are aspects of what we've done that are quite special to Cornwall, there are also many aspects that are common to many of the regional um, projects that are, that are partners in the Unicred's. And our challenge within the Unicred's project over the course of the next three years is going to be to find those aspects of commonality where we can certainly set down best practice um, with a view to helping people who are starting their journey and to give them some accelerated um, help uh, in that journey, but at the same time identifying where they will need to develop their own specialisms. We will all remain unique. What we're trying to do is to establish those things where there is that commonality and, and we can learn from each other. We've had again in the conference this morning a, a keynote speech uh, from the Director General of the uh, Education and Skills uh, in Europe. And there were some really interesting pointers there for the future for Europe beyond uh, the current funding and in, uh, towards 2020. There were some important messages about how we work in partnership with businesses and how we engage better uh, with our graduates and getting them into businesses. And those messages, I think, are really important ones because they're journeys that a number of us have already begun to take uh, within our academic institutions. There are things that we're doing which are already steps on the route towards embedding that knowledge transfer into the business and uh, economic base of our regions. What, we, what our challenge is and what I hope Unicreds will be able to do is to really influence European policy in this area as we go towards 2020 so that those areas of best practice are supported and developed and nurtured and we, um, in the current economic circumstances, uh, although we would all like to be uh, independent of grant funding, there is no doubt that there will be regions across Europe who will need that helping hand. And where we can show that we have best practice in trying to link academic excellence with the needs of business in a region, then if we can showcase that to the point where Europe will take it on as mainstream support funding challenges and offer that to regions who have yet to build their economies, then I think that will be a tremendous success for the project. We have a lobbying opportunity, of course, within the project, and we will be using that opportunity 
to really take those messages forward. But already uh, we, we have the strong links into DG Regio uh, for the, the economic uh, investments in our projects and DG Education and also I think DG Research will, will be an important uh, Directorate General for us to link with in the future. So there are a lot of challenges, um, but success I think will be if we're able to showcase ourselves in a way that does actually influence European policy in the future. The Unicreds project also gives us the opportunity to share in, in partners across Europe who are doing similar things or have got similar ventures. And it's a wonderful opportunity, particularly here in Schleftia and amongst Academy Nor, to see how they're putting into practice uh, multi-campus operations in a region of such sparse population. And I think as, as we get the opportunity through the project to travel to different regions, we understand better the challenges that they face and can better share best practice and amongst ourselves work out what are the special things that make us tick and hopefully will help others to tick in the future.